What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 7. I'm going to try to do two episodes today. So, we're going to jump into it real quick. Let's see what's happening in The Walking Dead last episode. Um, Things are happening. You know, we got to see the story of the governor. What's been going on since Woodbury. You know, so... We're going to get, I don't know what's going to happen in this episode. If we're going to see, see the two clash, as I said before, in my last review, I don't know how we, I mean, he already knows where the prison is, but why was he there at that particular point? I don't know. Are they trying to turn the governor good? Are they still going to make him they mad? He's at the end of the episode. He, um, the guys that left him, they got caught up back again. Um, so he's with this family now protecting this, li this little girl who represent his daughter from losing his daughter and also this family. I still do not remember where that lady is from. Like the thing was bugging me and I still didn't look up, look it up. And I'm trying to remember where I know her from the mom. I just can't remember what show. A and it's a very recent thing that I've watched too. I just can't remember. I'm going to look it up right after I finish. <laughs> right after I, I take this pause right here. So I'll see you guys over there. I'm going to go look to see who this lady is, man. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. And I'll see you guys for the review. All right. To the few of you that will actually come and check out the review um, of my reaction you know it's still one of those things man where um it wasn't a sad it, it it wasn't necessarily a sad moment to me because you didn't really feel the feel you felt the impact of herschel dying but also like my desire my desire to see the governor get what's coming to him was more than the emotion for me seeing Herschel dying. It's not that I'm not sad that he died. It's just this evil bastard. I just really wanted to see him go. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it, it just goes to the fact, like, at the cost of what? At the cost of these bunch of idiots that decided to follow this dude not re not even questioning anything it's like we just met this dude you know what i'm saying we know a little bit about his history and all of a sudden i mean for all we know all the all of what he's saying could be lies i mean you're you're looking on this guy right now and he's telling you hey man we could live together it's not that big a deal we could live on two different cell blocks we don't even have to see each other unless we're ready to see each other then you could get to know us. We could get to know you. The man he even told you. People from their camp has, be, has come into our camp and become leaders. I know he's talking about, um, I know he's talking about Ty and Sasha them, right? But this guy is giving you examples. He's telling you, listen, we're not that all bad. Even him himself has told us that. They, that they're not all that bad. But still. You know what I'm saying? You know when they say the blind can't lead the blind? You know, or the blind is leading the blind in this situation. You know? And the whole scene, the way I was set up, I guess I don't know if I spoiled myself and, and how, you know, on, on the, 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 on, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how... You know, in movies, I've watched enough TV shows, I've watched enough movies, I've watched enough um, anime to tell when someone is going to die in a situation where you don't expect them to die. It's kind of like the build up to it. You get what I'm saying? The build up to it, the the, the him taking away the sword, the, the, um, the music. And you heard me say, I feel like Herschel is going to die. I feel like this dude is going to kill Herschel. And... I'm mad. I'm upset because he killed one of the best characters on the show that just literally 
literally just at the at almost the cost of his own life was trying to save everybody keep everybody else alive and now he's gone in not even a respectable way he's not even killed by a biter but he's killed by another human being that is still human that is that hasn't turned and I said man this dude is just a stain on what's left of humanity and it just needed to end I didn't want any more episodes with him you get what I'm saying I'm glad um what's her name killed him you know what I'm saying um put the sword Michonne put the sword through him and then his own girl came and, fin and, and finished him off man because they just didn't listen Probably if 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 it wasn't just the two of them there, probably she could have saved their daughter. You know what I'm saying? If you just had been just just satisfied. And I get the flash flood thing. I get the flash flood thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? The flash flood, the warning is to let you know because flash floods are like say for instance when you have um flash floods floods it's kind of like a reverse thing that you got to think of it in in reverse because after flash floods I'll, I'll, what happens is that during flash flood the water rises it take it goes to places that it's not usually that it doesn't usually go to so it's a possibility um it, it's definitely plausible that they are walkers underground you get what i'm saying that were washed over because obviously they don't drown which is they they foreshadowed that during these two episodes with um the dude that the governor killed right they foreshadowed it to show you that walkers the don't drown that is not something that we knew we knew before because i i would have thought they they drown right or water kills them but water doesn't kill them um so they don't they don't drown which I don't know. They don't really necessarily need to explain that, but uh, they don't drown. So they foreshadowed that, which is actually, you know, I do want to praise their writing for this because they did a great job of foreshadowing it. And also throughout the whole thing, um, these two episodes that I've watched was brilliantly done. I'm not going to lie. These three episodes with the governor are, was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Building up to his, to get rid of him you know, was, was pretty good the writing, awesome writing. So I understood the flash flood reference, you know what I'm saying? So all that, when the water goes back to normal levels, those parts that they were with all that mud and stuff like that, um, you know what I'm saying? It is possible that walkers could be there underground, you know what I'm saying? So, um, they did a great job of directing that part of the episode, how the girl got bit and, and, and stuff like that. So she did. And she, of course, she's going to blame him because she said to him, this is home. Let's try to protect what's here. But no, he's so fixated on this prison and getting revenge on Michonne and them. You know what I'm saying? Like he's so fixated on it till now. He's still a murderer, still wicked. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and now, Vlas Herschel. You know what I'm saying? Judith is, is okay. I'm not worried about Judith because we as the audience know that Judith is okay. They didn't leave Judith out there in the freaking, in, 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 the, um, in the car seat or whatever she was in. We knew she wasn't in there because the girls... They had her, and then they, they went away to go get the guns and stuff like that, and we saw them with her. If I go back in this episode, when they shot, um, when they shot, um, the girl, the, the girls that were going to take him out, I'm pretty sure they appeared in the picture. Let me go back for a second here. Right? Right. Wait a second. Judith was not there. So where did they leave Judith? I could have swore I saw them with the baby in that instance right there. But they were, Judith wasn't there. So now I'm going to have to worry about Judith now. Because I thought she was safe. I thought she was safe. Little ass kicker. Did she really die? 
you know so now i'm gonna have to worry about now because something happened they must have left her somewhere i'm still not gonna believe that she's dead they must have left her somewhere or something of the sort because they wouldn't leave her there they would i don't see the girls le leaving her there by herself let me see when they said they was gonna go get the guns right i'm backing up here when they said they were going to get the guns right she said, we have to help. Come on, back up. Spare me the... <laughs> spare me the, the silent oh my gods right now. Okay, I'm trying to find this. <laughs> okay, so she told her to fight. Because she said, we need guns too. Right? I'm trying to find it because he said we should fight too and not run I don't think I'm gonna find it I'm not gonna fight it am I I don't think I'm gonna find this damn scene Cause they were heading out towards the bus was this before all the fighting started now nah, they ran out to go face the governor in the beginning of the episode went out to talk it was a very small scene so it's taking me a while to find it because i want to see because i don't think they showed them walking away though um i don't remember if they left her there that's what i'm saying i'm trying to find out if she actually left her there Because the both of them was carrying her in the car seat. Right? This is weird that I can't find it. It's such a short scene, too. That's why it's taking me a while to find it. Man, Herschel. Come on. How is it? Why can't I find the scene when they when they come out and went to the bus? I. Okay. It, I can't find it, guys. I guess it was that short for real. Hey. We go that way. <coughs> yeah, because he said whatever. Anyways, I th maybe they went back to go get Judith because they left her somewhere. Because Dev and Ty, they came out, sh saved Ty's life, and then they ran in a totally different direction than where Ty wanted them to go. And he was like, "Hey, we go that way or whatever." So I guess we'll see in the next episode what if sh if Judith is, is okay or not. Hoping she is. Um, you know, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I, I'm a little devastated by what's going on, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad the governor is dead. Dude is an asshole, like assholes of assholes. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later. Peace.